Welcome back. You're still with us on Startup Street. Now, the 2023 first global challenge will bring together thousands of teens from across the globe for a robotic space off in Singapore from the 7th of October. Five students from Goa are representing India, and my colleague Akhil Vishwanath caught up with them as they put their robot through final trials before takeoff. Take a look. It's been raining in Panaji, but where I'm going in the capital city of Goa, it's sunny, filled with activity and a sense of urgency. I'm heading to the training arena of five students who will represent India at First Global's four-day international robotics challenge in Singapore from the 7th of October. Team India has four boys and a girl. With three of them under the age of 14, Team India is going to be one of the youngest among 200 participating countries. Now, let's go meet Team India, watch them train and run final checks on their robot. What I have in my hand is Team India's controller to their robot. I am in possession of it because it was the only way in which I could get their attention for a chat. They are in the final stages of their preparation before they fly out to the first global robotics competition in Singapore. Now what is the competition about? What are the rules going to be? Sai Pranav is going to start telling us about the rules. Yeah. So the game lasts for two and a half minutes, of which in the first two minutes, we have to pick up hydrogen and oxygen balls and collect them. The robot also has to use the electrolyzer to separate the hydrogen and oxygen balls. The oxygen balls being bigger remain on top and the hydrogen balls being smaller are sent rolling down. After this, the human player is near the electrolyzer and he picks up the oxygen balls which are left on top and throws them to the oxygen accumulator which is a 10 meter distance. At the end of the 30 seconds and the conversion button is pressed, all the oxygen is dropped into the hydrogen tank to get a clean source of energy. The alliance with the most points wins the game. The points for the balls are oxygen is one point and hydrogen is one point. And we also get 15 points for hanging. I've heard that you are the pit engineer and you're the one who takes care of pit stops for the robot. So tell me what you do. Uh, about me, I am a guy who loves watching MotoGP and F1 racing. I admire the pit stop of F1. So I wanted to implement it in real life. I got an opportunity over here. I have created SOPs and checklists, which helped me a lot and reduced my pit stop time from 30 minutes to 10 minutes. I'm now further trying, aiming to get the pit stop time of five minutes. Now, Apurva, how does it feel to be the only girl on the team? So, as it is a saying in India that girls are not mostly in the technical part and they do not uh, try uh, the participating in the technical aspect. So, I thought why not break the stereotype and inspire more girls to participate in such competitions so that we um, uh, put a mark on the globe saying that even girls in India can do something other than just uh, what they are told to do. The students had not won but many challenges to overcome on their journey to Singapore. Despite lack of technical resources and funding, they built a robotic catapult and launched a tennis ball 27 meters away, the farthest among all teams in India, and cleared three rounds of interviews to win a ticket to the global event. But for these students, who belong to a parents-led community club called Team Lego Goa, their homes were not big enough to contain their talent. Till now, we have been practicing in our homes uh, for this robotic competition. And when the challenge was announced for a 7 meter by 7 meter arena, naturally, we don't have such kind of uh, huge places. We were lucky uh, that uh, we found this place. Uh, it's called as the uh, Cap de Pova, which is the old panchayat, a 1961 uh, Portuguese place. And we have set up this lab two months ago, and this has become our second home. We cannot continue to have this place, but we aim that we can have such a bigger place for our future robotics. Robotics competitions like First Global have been reporting increased participation of students from conflict countries or resource deficient backgrounds. In fact, last year India was represented by children who grew up in urban slums. A few years ago, the event saw the participation of five Syrian refugees. This year, we have the five students from Goa who wish 
to change the world with their love for science and technology. First Global's title sponsor, Lamb Research, says this is the reason behind its intention to support the event. The environmental issues that are challenging our country and globally challenging the world, it's not just enough for the, uh, developed nations to contribute. We need talent from around the world, from across the all strata of society to contribute to solving these hard problems that we face in the next few generations. All of you tell me, how does it feel to be going to Singapore? Sir, so for me, it feels really great um, that I'm representing my country for the first time at such a global stage. For me, it's very exciting because uh, we are going to get uh, to meet so many people, get to share thoughts, our ideas, our uh, techniques, our strategies. I think it will be crazy. So meeting other countries, other people, and also taking the knowledge. It will be very thrilling, especially driving the robot during the matches. I am looking forward to the entire experience of the competition. Well, we wish all the five students from Goa the very best of luck. And with that, it's a wrap from Arundhati and me, Shruti, on this edition of Startup Street. Stay tuned to CNBC TV 18 for more news and updates.